Hi everyone, welcome to our vlog. For today's video, we discuss about the origins of clean room technology to be presented by Jade Matuga Singa, Hannah Janelle P. Cervantes, Sadja Mama Sabayang, Dave Chavez Endoy, and Jancy Ford Kaysen. We are from the BS EMT MR4P2 to be presented to engineer Douglas Kent Armania. So without further ado, let's start with. Early years, today the cleanroom application have increased from its early days in hospital and precision manufacturing to include first pharmaceuticals biotechnology, preparation of pharmaceutical, biological, and medical products, require clean spaces to control valuable living and non-valuable particles that could impact product sterility. Second, microelectronic semiconductors. pH size in semiconductors are smaller than many molecules and controlling the concentration of particles pushes them clean rooms to limits of clean room technology. Third, flat funnel display. Flat funnel display factories are some of the largest clean rooms in the world with some clean room spaces greater than 2 million feet squared or 200,000 m squared. New FPD factories are controlling particles and chemical concentration. Fourth, aerospace. To manufacture and assemble gyroscope, satellites, aerospace er electronics. Fifth, hospital. Controlling infection during surgery was the driver for many early contamination control techniques. Sixth, miscellaneous application. Use in as septic food processing and packaging microelectronics and nanotech application. Ventilated operating rooms. Hospital is the first spaces to attempt to control the air where patient is located. Controlling the ventilation of hospital spaces was seen in first century Roman military hospital. Florence Nightingale made and dramatic improvements in mortality rates of wounded soldiers by insisting on scrupulously clean, well-ventilated hospital rooms. Louis Pasteur is remembered for his discovery about the causes and prevention of disease through his experiment. He demonstrated that sterilized and cell flasks microorganisms could grow which relate the control of infection during surgery was significant driver to controlling contamination. Joseph Lester, a British surgeon pioneer who used disinfectant. William Keane, American surgeon who cleaned the surgical suits. And Gustav Neuber, a German who in 1883 designed a cleanable surgical suit containing non-porous surfaces, glass, and metal furnishing and in-room sterilization equipment. This early innovation provided guidance to manufacturers also concerned with the controlling contamination in their precision manufacturing operation. In 1955, the Western Electric Room was the first production clean room. They claimed it's dust-free room. It designed 99.9% .9 filters and positive pressurization. HIPAA filters. Air filtering is central to clean rooms and central to modern air filtering is the so-called HIPAA, High Efficiency Particulate Air Filter. In order to so qualify, a HIPAA filter has to remove 99.97% of airborne particles, 0.3 microns in diameter. True, the HIPAA filter comes out of World War II research. Its roots go back farther and illustrate the diverse set of motivations skills and institutions that contribute to high-tech manufacturing developments. In 20th century, benefits to mechanical ventilation. It is important stuff in the field of airborne infection was the use of ultraviolet lightning combination with the mechanical ventilation. Daryl Hart, he found that UV light would reduce the airborne bacteria in the operating room. 
1936 an operating room at the Hospital of Sick Children in Toronto, combining air conditioning ultraviolet labs, design allowed testing the efficacy of air changes and UV lights and removing bacteria from the space. The results indicated significant reduction of airborne contamination. The modern clean room was invented by American physicist Willis Whitfield. As employee of the Sandia National Laboratories, Whitfield created the initial plans for the clean room in 1960. Prior to Whitfield's invention, earlier, clean rooms often had problems with particles and unpredictable airflows. One of his greatest inventions is the undirectional airflow, an airflow moving in a single direction, in a robust and uniform manner, and at sufficient speed to reproducibly sweep particles away from the critical processing or testing area. In early industry, in room, industries like semiconductor and microelectronics created multi-level vertical unidirectional clean rooms to allow for their complex process requirements. The spread of clean room applications per the creation of industries focused on the design and manufactures, manufacture of clean rooms and clean room components. Specialty firms focused on development of clean room walls, floors, doors and windows that meet the needs of the application owner. Designs were bent into use, into those using unidirectional airflow and those needing less clean space where non-unidirectional airflow would surface.